we're going to continue to modify our child theme. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can customize the footer section of the page. In order to do this, we're going to have to modify some of our PHP files. If I go into the folder that has my child theme, so I'm going to go into the projects folder, into WP content, and into themes, here's the folder that contains the child theme information. And we currently have functions and style.css. If we look in the parent theme, the 2017 theme, you can see that there are quite a few other files and folders located here. These other files are going to help control the way that the page works and functions. And remember, when you're working on a child theme, anytime you want to make a modification to one of these files, it's best practice to make a copy of these, put them in your child theme folder, and then make modifications on the versions that are in the child theme folder. In this way, you will not end up messing up anything that has to do with the actual theme. So if you do end up making a mistake, you simply delete it and it defaults back to the child theme. The 2017 theme is set up a little bit differently than some of the other themes. In 2017, they have broken a lot of the control for the PHP files into sub PHP files. They're located in the template parts folder and then you'll see that there's subfolders that contain these other elements that we'll be working with. Because I want to modify a few of these things, I'm going to simply copy this entire folder. So I will make a copy and put it in my child theme folder. Now if I go into my child theme, I have these files. You don't need to keep the elements that you're not going to be changing, but for right now we're just going to leave these here and then later on I can clean this up and delete the ones that I don't want. I'm going to begin by editing the footer. I want to eliminate this proudly powered by WordPress and I want to be able to put in my own custom footer information. So I am going to need to modify the site-info.php file. I'm going to open this in my editor and here is the current file. There's not much to this file, but it is only making that link that says proudly powered by WordPress. We're going to go ahead and we're going to replace the link with our own custom text. So I'm going to get rid of the whole A tag. I'm going to place a P tag here and I'm going to put some code in my P tag that reflects what I want to display within the site. So I'm going to have my own copyright having the name of the company and kind of like a tagline that I want to display. I will save this site dash info file and if I go back into the browser and refresh my page you can see that now the footer is displaying my own custom message and this is going to be true on any of our pages so all of our pages are now going to have the our own custom footer information now in addition to making this display with the new text I also want to change the way it looks and remember to control the way it looks you're going to have to check the CSS so I will open my developer tools and if we fish around and find out what's controlling this you can see that there's a div with a class of wrapper that's kind of common in this theme then I have my div with a class of site info. If I look at site info, I can see that the width is 58%. What I want is I want the width to be 100% so that it takes up the entire area. The text isn't going to wrap to a second line. And I'm going to have the text align center. And I'm also going to make the text slightly lighter by just changing the color. Ultimately, I'm going to want to make these changes in my CSS file, so I will just copy the selector right here. And I'm going to go back into my editor, and we'll open our style.css file. And I actually am already using the media query for screen and min width, so I don't need this. I'm going to eliminate that, and for some reason it copy this other information here which I don't need either. All I really need is the selector. So let me make sure that I put this in the media query. 
and then the items that we want to control are going to be the width is going to be a hundred percent we're going to use a text align of center and as i mentioned before i'm going to just change the text color so that it's a little bit lighter down here at the bottom if i save this now and we go back out to the browser and refresh you can now see that my footer is styled with the new styles that we specified and you, of course, could add whatever you wanted to down in the footer. We just added a tagline, and I realized I spelled wellness incorrectly, so let me just fix that real quickly. I'll go back into the site info.php file, and I'll just fix this up. We could, of course, put whatever we want into the site info section, and it would, of course, update and incorporate those changes into our file.